Hello, my name is Chris and thank you for joining me on this pleasant three mile circular walk. We start from the car park at the end of Riverbank Road in Heswell. It's amusing to note that Google Maps refers to it as the Heswell Beach car park. Unfortunately, there's no longer any sign of a beach, but the blue railings still evoke the feeling of the seaside. The impressive building over the road started life as St. Philan's Preparatory School, but it is now residential property. Ahead of us are extensive views of the Welsh coastline. Leaving the car park, we head down the ramp and head diagonally right out into the River Dee marshes. At the gully we turn right and follow a well-worn path. This route can get slippy after heavy rain or during periods of high tide, so take care. Also, be careful to step over the many cracks. These stakes appear to be the remains of an old jetty. The gully has small inlets along its length. Here you can see Spartina cord grass. Spartina cord grass was introduced to stabilise the marsh around some of steelworks in Shotton but it has now spread up the estuary to Heswell. Over to the right are steps to Park West and a marine drive. Not too long ago the ground here was sand, but the grasses have taken over. The gully gets wider as we near the moorings at Banks Road. The moorings in places appear to be more like a boat graveyard. This area is still an operational boatyard and it is transformed during high tide.
This is the first time I've seen a sign of pirates on the river. It looks like the beach used to be quite gravelly. This little council sign warns people of the risks with leaving their boats to rot here. It doesn't seem to have worked. We turn right off the estuary and head up Banks Road. It was in this area that the Hessel Sailing Club started life on the 30th of January 1919. Now known as the D View Sailing Club, in the 1960s, as the river continued to silt up, the club moved further up the estuary to near Thurstersen. The buildings on the left hand side are old fishermen's cottages, most of which have now been modernised. At the top of the road, where it bends right, we enter the Wirral Country Park, also known as the Wirral Way. Here we turn right. This area was first opened as a railway line in 1866 from Hooton to Park Gate, and it was extended to West Kirby in 1886. The line was closed in 1962 and was bought by Cheshire County Council in 1969, who opened it up to the public as the first country park in Great Britain. When we leave the Wirral Way, we turn left onto Davenport Road. This road follows the line of the old railway. Here is a nice view of Mulvammer. If we continued further up the road, you would reach Station Road, and as the name suggests, this was where Heswell Station was situated, but we are going to turn right down Manners Lane. Just to the left, you see the entrance to Little Pony Sanctuary. This lane passes between farmland and pony paddocks to rejoin the marshes of the River Dee where we will turn left. But first we have to go down an overgrown area by the side of this house. We now follow the path through more tall Spartina grass and the path itself can be quite boggy at all times of the year. We pass the steps that lead up to Seabank Road and continue on to the next set of steps with old seaside type railings, the same as we saw at the start of the walk. Climbing the steps we turn right and find ourselves in what is now an overgrown area. This must have been a pleasant area in the days gone by when it was in use as a destination for people visiting Heswell Beach. We now emerge back at the car park where we started the walk. 
I think it's time for a well-earned cup of tea and a piece of cake. Keep safe, everybody.